Let's go. Uh, blind side it, right time it. Room filled to the ceiling with the finest champagne bottles and the brightest diamonds. We all gonna be shining. Design Hey guys, Liam here, and you are watching episode 3 of our uh, FIFA career mode with Peterborough United. I'm still in the transfer window, considering who to buy. Haven't completed any transfers yet, as you see, we're very early on. And I think up and coming is our third um, pre-season game. Now, we're hoping to get further in this pre-season tournament, so let's get ahead into it and see if we can get any star signings. Okay, it looks like that Werder Bremen have actually accepted that loan offer for, um, for Malvin Lorenzen, uh, who's a quality striker. Wages only three grand. Um, that could be an ideal um, fit for our club. Obviously, we've got loads of strikers, so I'll hold off with that one for a moment. Okay, this isn't what we needed. <laughs> Uh, Nabi has actually suffered a sprained knee and will be out for three weeks. So that's already one player down and one player that actually really impressed me uh, in that last game. I'm actually really tempted to take Regan Paul out on loan. Brilliant little defender, 17 years old and a low wage. So I'm quite tempted to uh, ask United if I can have him. Again, we'll think about it. We'll put him into the uh, the shortlist and then we can look at our options later. Okay, we were looking for a new keeper and this guy is on the free agent list, Milan Borjan. He's 27, which is decent for a keeper. He only wants six grand per week and his stats aren't that bad, really. I can't expect much more than that, especially for a second, um, a second keeper, if that's what he's going to be. He's six foot four. I'm actually very tempted to go for him right now. It doesn't leave us with a lot of uh, a lot of cash, but I just like that security at the back. So here's our shortlist. We got Ahmed uh, Higazi, who we added in the last episode. He's also a free agent. He looks pretty good, 24, and he's a centre back. So that could be worth um, going for. He wants seven grand a week. Um, so that, yeah, we're after two, was it two centre-backs? Yeah, two centre-backs. So that could be a shout, um, another freebie. And then maybe Regan Paul uh, on loan or something like that. Uh, we'll see when we get a scout report. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we're scouting. This guy I had on my forest save, I think I mentioned before, he's pretty good. Um, he's also a free agent, so that is a good shout with um, Zlatinski. We've got Rakish Bingham, uh, 21 years old, pacey as hell, uh, generally looks like a decent player. He's got 12 months uh, left on his contract, so he could move for a little bit less than expected. Ruben Reed, who's a Plymouth Argyle, great stamina. He could play pretty much every game. Another one with uh, under 12 months left on his contract. And Melvin Lorenzen, who we uh, discussed earlier, he is open to a loan deal. Well, his club are open to a loan deal, so hopefully we could seal that. Um, we've got that um, problem with strikers at the minute. We've got bloody tons of them, uh, but none of them are really that great. So. Uh, that's just keeping the options open. I'm more. Uh, I really want to get centre backs and uh, centre mids sorted first. What I think I'm going to do is go in for um, this guy here. Going to go in at the 7k that he's asking for, three years, um, and see what we get back. Hey, here we go. Milan Borjan has actually accepted that contract offer. He's the one that uh, he wanted 6k, 27 years old. I think that's going to be a good shout. I really do. So it's a little bit more security at the back. Yeah, I'm open to that. Let's do it. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We didn't really need, well, we did need strikers, but we did need to ship a few out first. But sod it. I've gone for it. Okay, so that looks pretty good team. We got uh, Forrester. 
Holding. Got Beautyman out right who... <sighs> he actually fairly impressed me last game, I'm not going to lie. Um, although the rating didn't really reflect that. But you know, it's not all about ratings. So we'll go ahead. We've got Cool Thirst up front. Obviously he's a left mid, but he really did good um, up there. Let's go for it. Let's just go. Okay, guys, here we go. Peterborough United versus Clermontfort from France. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm hoping we can progress and win ourselves a little bit of money because it will do us the world of good. A little bit more wage budget to play around with is always brilliant. Get it forward. Good old boy. Cool thirst. Still cool thirst. Come on. Yes. Easy. Eight minutes in. 1 0. Cool thirst. You beaut. Oh shit. Unmarked. Bollocks. That was my own fault. My own fault. Shit. Oh, I pulled the player away, Com left him completely unmarked. He wasn't far off, Jesus. Well, we escaped there. That was my own fault. Wouldn't have been a great start for Borjan either. Would have been nice for him to get a clean sheet in his first game. Oh, lovely ball through. Cuts in. Oh, don't say that's offside. Yes! Cool Thirst again. Diving header this time. A loose ball bounces across the box. It's so inviting for him. But he did have to stretch for it. Not going to lie. There's no way he was going to get to that. Otherwise. Great goal. 2-0. Cool Thirst looks like he's going to be a key player for us. It. Get it out. Someone get into him. Bloody hell. Lovely long ball. Come on, Edwards. Come on, lad. Show us why you wanted this game. Taylor. Come on, Edwards. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, just lost out. Oh, well in, Madison. He can get a ball through to Koulibaly. Lovely. Takes his time. And he's hit the post. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. All the time in the world. Oh, dear God. Well, at least it wasn't Lorenzo. Or else I'd have been extremely pissed off. There we go. We've won it 2-0. I'm really happy with that result. I mean, the second half was scrappy as hell. We didn't play great. Uh, I made a major mistake with the centre-back and we were lucky to escape that. But nonetheless, we played well in the first half. We got those two goals that we needed. And that guy there, Shaquille Coolthurst, has been unbelievable for us. Coolthurst earned himself an 8.9 rating. Forrester, who I thought played really well, 7.8. Oz Tuma impressing yet again 7.1. Lorenzen actually picked up a 6.5 for the time he was on the field. Overall, really good performances all round. Taylor, I noticed, got around the pitch really well, as did uh, Smith at right back. I'm really happy with that. And Borjan keeps a clean sheet in his first game. Awesome. So as a result of the performance, um, so far we've earned ourselves another 300k for our budget. Now that is a start and I'm happy with that. That can buy us a little, uh, a little player, a little gem somewhere along the line or give us that little bit extra wage budget to play with. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to end the episode here because it's on a high. We've just come off a 2-0 win and yes, join us in the next episode where you'll see new players sign in and hopefully, hopefully continue this run of form. So thank you very much for watching guys, do like, comment any players that you think might be handy to us and smash that like button please, <laughs> I can't beg you enough, it really does help and uh, I want this to grow, I really want this, uh, this channel to grow, so 
yeah you know what to do thank you for watching guys have a good one see you in the next one this is taking forever to end goodbye